In today's video, we're going to do a review of the Medieval Shop's Viking Axe. Finding good quality armour and weapons for reenactment can be really hard. There isn't a lot of bricks and mortar stores in Australia, and buying online can be hit and miss. G'day everyone, my name is Ben and welcome to Medieval Mayhem. On this channel, you'll find lots of videos into the whole medieval period. You'll find reviews into other people's gear, you'll find crafting videos into making your own costumes, you'll find DIY videos into making your own furniture, you'll find how-to videos into all sorts of medieval camping and that kind of thing. We do videos for, we analyse historical events, what happened, who were the key players and why did things turn out the way that they did. So if medieval is your thing, this is the channel for you and you might want to consider subscribing. So um, a couple of months ago I was looking around for some good axes to purchase. I really wanted um, to, to look at some axes that were not just fight axes but also had a bit of a utilitarian feel to them and this is one of the ones that I've purchased. I like, I like the size of it, it's 51 centimeters long at the handle. It is quite lightweight at just 640 grams. The axe head itself is 14 by 14 centimeters and it retails for $61.25. I think that's a, a very realistic price and it's a nice piece of craftsmanship. Um, you get a very authentic appearance to this axe. This is not the axe of Hollywood. It's not the axe of the movies. This is not some sort of fantasy axe with lots of detailing and, you know, some sort of crazy shape and size to it. This is um, something that I think you could be realistically expect to see something similar in the museums from the Scandinavians and Germanic tribes 1,000 years ago. 1,000 years ago, something like this would have been made from bog iron. It's a very inexpensive material to be able to produce and obviously the handle is just created from um, a piece of wood from a tree and you therefore have something you can equip your children and your family and your friends with uh, to be able to repel invaders and you have this quite interesting utilitarian piece of kit. I, I like this because it is so well made you can use it around the camp for bashing in tent pegs or to butcher meat you know cut up wood for, for fun for heating your camp environment that kind of thing uh, it's not just as I say a fighting axe I like the profile of the axe I think it's really good this is a sharp axe so if you want to use it for reenactment you're going to need to dull the edges down and round off the corners but otherwise that should be fine please check with your medieval reenactment group as to what their rules might be but I like this this is um it does give you just like it's such an easy axe to use and um, it goes, gives you so much feedback as to where it is in relationship to your target. So I do recommend it and I think this is definitely worthy of an 8 out of 10. Righto guys, I hope you found today's video useful. Please like, subscribe and share. I'll catch you in my next video.